Good morning, Sacred Heart. My name is Joan Creech. I was asked to do this morning's reading and reflection. Today is June the 5th, 2020. The Gospel reading today is from Mark chapter 12, verse 35 to 37. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is a son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord, so how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. Well, it was really hard to think of how I could do this. Uh, first of all, I uh, pretty much imagine Jesus entering a temple, um, walking into a building, maybe where you or I are standing for the first time. Um, we, he's surrounded by hundreds of people, men and women, who are spiritually hungry. And Jesus, seeing in the background scribes, he, he looks at their faces. Some have cold expressions. Um, some have puzzling stares. Maybe they kind of turn their head and squint a little bit. And some showed fear. So Jesus talks a little louder so those in the back could hear him. Um, but most of the crowd does more than hear. They begin to listen. And they hear God speaking through Jesus. We are often puzzled um, what Jesus said and did. I know I am at times when I read something from the Bible or the gospel and it doesn't make sense to me. So I try to relate it to my life. Who is Jesus for me? I find that prayer is my way of talking to Jesus. He hears me. I don't normally say prayer out loud. I think a lot of my prayer. I spend a lot of time walking around church, uh, changing altar calls and talking to God. Spending time with him means knowing more about him fully. Um, we ask for a deeper invitation. We're invited. God invites us. Jesus invites us to pray. Because through prayer is how he relates to us. We express our feelings through prayer. I can't stress more what prayer means to everyone in, in our church, in our world, especially what's going on in today's world. It's sad. And there's nothing we can do unless we ask God to help. So... Today and every day, please pray along with me. Our prayers come from our head, go from our head to our heart. I'll see you in church. God bless.